What's up guys, Spin Firearms here. And today we're going to talk a little bit about, sorry I'm moving all my holsters. Um, some holster options, when I carry them, how I like to carry. Now, for pocket carry throughout the whole entire week, this is actually for my CZ P10M, but I carry a Vetter pocket locker holster for pocket carry at work. I like it because it's a full trigger guard and your firearm is going nowhere. It has retention just like a holster, um, but at the same time you have something to push off of and you have something to latch in your pocket if you need to draw. I like the comfort um, of a holster like this because you know nothing can get in that trigger guard while being active, especially while working, because that's when I carry in my pocket with the pocket locket. Now this is from Athena's Armory. This is using a fabric clip. This is a great holster. I actually carried it all day the other day. Um, love this thing. I use it on Dickie's pants, but it's mainly for gym shorts and sweatpants. You use this long clip right here to clip onto stuff, and because it's a longer clip, it secures your firearm better than your average holster on gym shorts and sweatpants and so on. So love this thing, that's for my FN 503. When I just want a light carry day, you know, going on a walk, going outside, playing with the kids, whatever, this is a great option right here. It's for my Springfield Army Hellcat, just a claw and an Alta clip because I'm wearing gym shorts and sweatpants. So I go with this. It's just an easy way to carry. You know you're gonna have a secure firearm. Picture your drawstring going right across here. So you have two points of contact for a good, even, smooth draw and that firearm is not gonna be bounced around. When I'm using a belt, I like to use discrete carry clips or the monoblock. I'm actually more of a fan of the monoblock. This is for my Shield Plus, this is for my Glock 26 and 27 and 33 and so on. But both of them are great. It all depends. I like that how these are on two different levels or like two different spots. So it sort of does tuck that firearm a little better. And then I also like the wedge because it presses it up against your body for less printing. Love these holsters. This is just a simple Shield Plus for when I'm using a belt. I use a monocle block or the discrete carry clips. They're both good. Also for a belt, I use this in a defensive pistol class. This is from Blacksmith Tactical. These are soft loop holsters. Um, and these just loop right around your belt and they're actually very easy. You gotta break them in a little bit, um, but it conceals the firearm really well and draws very easy and very smooth. I actually really like that. Now, sometimes you can't find certain options, certain holster options, so I went to Neptune Concealment for this. They make custom holsters. And this was a Hellcat with a TLR7 sub now the thing is when i go for something like this that means i'm going to be carrying at night somewhere so whether it's on vacation or just walking around the neighborhood at night going a walk stuff like that this is a great option it's a little bulkier than what i like even on a hellcat but at night you need a flashlight so i go with this i haven't been able to find a lot of holsters for the fn 503 and ruger sr9c and certain unpopular firearm options so hog holsters has that and once again with the Alta Clip. Whenever you see an Alta Clip or a Fabric Clip, that is how I carry in gym shorts, sweatpants, bathing suits, snow pants, literally any kind of pants. You can clip it on your jeans, under your belt. So this is the way to go. This is for my FN 503. I absolutely love, love this holster. It's very thin. I'm going to be carrying it this week with my FN 503. Now if I want an extra mag, not in the pocket or something like that, and I know I'm going somewhere where... I'm going to need my Glock 26, which is my main carry for, you know, going to the mall, going to crowded places, having a backup mag, 15 round mag. This is a great holster. Not only do you not print, but it flexes with your body for being comfortable, and it does have a claw, and basically three points of contact for that draw. So a great holster. This is probably one of my favorite holsters I have. Absolutely love this thing. But this is mainly for if I'm going somewhere I need quick access to that second mag, this is what I'm carrying. Oops, sorry guys. Once again, a beltless side BB option right here. I believe this is for my Glock 19 with a TLR7. Um, I could be wrong though. I'm trying to think of which one this is. But anyways, I have, so, I have too many holsters. Anyways, once again, if I need a light option, but this is mainly for just training at night, shooting in the woods. I don't carry larger firearms. It's just how I choose to carry. Now this is a minimalist holster. I'm not sure they even make this anymore. It's from Blacksmith Tactical. <clears throat> I love the wedges. For certain firearms like the CZ P10S, I carry it with the extra with a bigger base plate on it so I print a little more. You throw a wedge on there and it pushes up against your body, your firearm, therefore you are no longer printing. And this is a minimalist holster, the trigger guard holster. Love this thing. Even in gym shirt sweatpants, no printing, great carry. This right here is for my SIG P365. Once again, just a minimalist option. Nothing on it. Just the Ulta clip. Carrying a light option like my SIG around the neighborhood, going to the park, you know, so on. The great option. If you want the claw, this is a great way to go. I think this is for my XD maybe. Anyways, I've carried an XD in gym shorts. I've carried it in sweatpants. And I've had zero issues with a setup like this. 
It's all about how you put the holster on, the order in which you tighten your pants and so on, which I have videos up on, but maybe I'll do a follow-up video soon. Outside the waistband, I do carry outside the waistband. It's just how I'm feeling in the moment, um, especially in colder weather, long winters here where I live. Um, outside the waistband is a quick option. On top of that, this Vetter holster just <laughs> is flawless. I love this thing. keeps it very tight to your body, but I always carry concealed. I will have a shirt or a hoodie or a coat over this thing. This is for my CZP10M. Absolutely love this holster. Now, this is the ultimate holster right here for everyday carry in gym shorts and sweatpants. This is the full, you know, fully loaded. It's a minimalist holster cut for an optic from Blacksmith Tactical, beltless IWB. Uses the Alta clip and a claw and the wedge. So you have less printing, you have a good, even, smooth draw, and you have no bounce because of the two points of contact. This is my go-to holster with a Glock 26 in gym shorts, sweatpants. This exact one, I love this thing. It's a little beat up, but I love it. Outside the waistband, you would have saw me using this this winter, shooting on some property. Mainly, if I'm... Sh Carrying outside the waistband, not concealed, it's only at the range, and it's only while shooting, you know, just for fun and, you know, practicing. But anyways, I like the setup, love this holster, it keeps it nice and tight to your body. Also, it gives you the option to use two different belt sizes and so on. Awesome holster from Blacksmith Tactical, outside the waistband. Like I said, I carry majority 90% of the time inside the waistband with a holster like this, but when it comes down to it, sometimes I will carry outside the waistband. Hope this, guy, this video helped you guys. Thanks for watching.